Hi, I'm Paddy. I've recently started using Power BI to analyze some of my Dynamics 365 customer engagement data. I am pretty new to Power BI. I um, know a bit about it, um, but I have been working with Dynamics 365 for about eight to 10 years now. In this video series, um, I'm just going to document some of the concepts I've learned working with Power BI and Dynamics 365 and some of the, some of the challenges that I faced as a new Power BI user. This first video will focus just on getting data out of Dynamics 365 and into Power BI. And what we're going to do, we're going to focus on the sales data, so just opportunities for this video. So let's look at our requirements. We want to use sales data in Power BI and create some visuals. Our sales data is stored as opportunities in Dynamics 365 and for sales professionals. And um, that's part of the customer engagement plan. And we want to create visuals based on the owner, created on, and accounts fields. So how are we going to do that? We're going to use Power Query M Builder, which is part of the XNM toolbox, and you can download it from the plugin store within the XNM toolbox. We're going to use Power Query M Builder to generate service URLs and use those server service URLs in Power BI to connect to Dynamics 365. We're going to use an existing view as a base. So what we'll do, we'll use the All Opportunities view. We'll view that uh, view in uh, Power Query M Builder and we'll add some additional fields to that view so that when we generate um, our query in Power BI, we we'll get some additional fields. We'll generate fetch XML from within the Power Query M Builder. And then we'll use the output from the Power Query M Builder in Power BI. And then that should leave us with a, a data model containing all opportunities with the fields that we require. So let's start with our XM toolbox. This video assumes that you know how to use the XM toolbox and install plugins. If you don't know um, the XM toolbox well, or you're not familiar with it, have a Google and have a look on YouTube and there's loads of videos out there and guides on how to use it. Um, it's a really helpful tool uh, for anyone working in Dynamics 365 as a, even a power user, developer or consultant. So the plugin we're going to use is called Power Query M Builder. There's a few plugins out there um, but I found this to be the easiest. There's a lot of the hard work for you. So I'm just going to connect to a trial organization with some sample data in there. And the first thing we want to do once um, we launch the, the Power Query M Builder is generate service URLs. So click this generate service URLs button. And this provides us with two URLs, the Dyne 365 CE base URL and the service root URL. And we can use those URLs to con in Power BI to connect to Dynamics 365. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing we want to do is copy this URL. And remember the name convention here because we're going to use that in Power BI. So go over to Power BI and then click Edit Queries. And we're going to add a new source. And for this example, we're going to use a blank query. paste our URL in there, hit enter, and then we want to rename our query to the same as it was on the XRM toolbox. So we can pull those two screens up at the same time, just move that down there. So Dine 365CE base URL. It's important to get these labels exactly right because they're used later when we generate the fetch XML. So what we'll do next is bring the other one across. So we're going to right click and click new query and again select blank query and just do the same for that one, copy that across. And 
and this one's called service root URL. I'm not sure if it's case sensitive, but just to be sure we'll make it exactly the same. So that's us got our two URLs. The next thing we want to do is connect to an existing view within Dynamics 365 and use that view to create a fetch XML query and then copy that into Power BI. So let's select tables and columns and we press the load entity button and we are working with opportunity entity so we can do a search for opportunity select the opportunity entity or the entity that we want to work with and that goes off and gets all the attributes it also gets all the system and personal views that that user you logged in as has access to so that could be really handy rather than build our view from scratch using these select boxes and the arrows here we'll select an existing view just expand that a bit and the view we're going to use is all opportunities for some reason there's two so then we can see what our view is going to look like and just make sure that it contains all the fields that we're going to use in our query or in our Power BI report and so what have we got here we've got the topic the status rating probability we want to report on the account created on an owner, so they're already included in there. And pipeline phase is a good one as well. So make sure they're all there, and when they are, we can then click update fetch XML. This also gives us a, a we can select which fields we want to take over. Um, if we don't select anything, it will just bring all of them over. And this is also a handy feature here, this add record URL. If you select that, it will actually create a, a column in your data set which will contain the URL to the record. So that you can use that in your reports and click into it and actually get open up the Dynamics 365 record. So now that we've made sure that we've got all our query correct, we can click generate fetch XML. And this gives us what we need to the output that we need to copy and paste into Power BI. So we'll select all and copy. And we're going to create a new query, again a blank query. And this time we're going to go to the advanced editor. Select all and paste. Click done. And then we can add our Dynamics 365 credentials. And that should connect to my trial. So there we go, and that presents us with our data model and if we look at what's in here we've got our our option set of values as text and the actual value so if we look at rating, rating is a good one as well those are the, the values and then the text value if you've ever tried to um, connect via other methods Power BI has a problem with matching up the option set of values to the text I need to work around that but this all does does all the work for you and that's our data model and if we look at the very last column we have our link which is a, a, a URL to a record in Dynamics 365 so that's us pulled our data into Power BI we click close and apply we could rename our query we'll rename our query first Click close and apply it. And 
and then we can start modeling that data and creating some visual, visuals here by dragging and dropping some fields over. So I'll just do that as an example. Well, the estimated revenue by created on. And that shows us that we can now start creating visuals. So that's all for this video. I'm trying to keep these videos very short and to the point. Um, and bear in mind that these videos are all just from my own experience. So if there's a better way uh, to do things or if there's a, um, or you've any advice for me, then please just comment or get me on these social platforms. So at Power Platformer on Twitter, youtube.powerplatformer.com on YouTube, and my website is www.powerplatformer.com. Um, and that contains some other blogs. And again, I'll just document the things I learn as I do. Thanks for your time.